I think the Ebola case has been a very, very strong wake-up call uh, for institution, for policymakers. This is when they realize that uh, we need to have very strong institutions. We need to be able to set our own agenda. Research money has been coming into Africa, has been coming from donors, and uh, we thank them for, for their input. But I think it's not enough, because when the money is coming from donors, the agenda is being set outside. And increasingly, uh, the donor money should be matched by government funding. But that isn't happening yet. And in your country, for instance, and because of your position, is this something that you're going to champion? Um, I've had the advantage uh, in my immediate past life that uh, I was also an entrepreneur. And uh, where does African research actually lag behind is because the academic research is not sufficiently protected and it doesn't cross what I increasingly refer to as the valley of death. Now, in my case, I uh, translated my research, my academic research, into a, a small business, but I was lucky to have found uh, the right person there with the venture capital. And now you are in the policymaking uh, position. Yes. Uh, so is this something that is going to be of priority for you and will you also be reaching out to your peers across the continent and impressing on them the importance of putting money in research? Yes, we need to increase invest in science, but over and above this there is an area which has been neglected and this is the regulatory environment. All the bills and all the laws have to be there so that it comforts the investors as well, that uh, if they want to do a joint venture with a company locally, it can happen. And of course, you have to sit down and ensure that's a win-win situation. So at my level, I can always push. I will always also push for policy, but increasingly, I will also get people uh, to come and uh, in government to put money into research and move from that 0.2% uh, 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 input so far to the pledged 1% minimum in terms of uh, uh, funding for research, 1% of the GDP. The issue that you'll be confronted with, especially in, in this continent, is the fact that um, the economies are not strong enough and there are many other competing interests. Um, so in terms of priority, for scientific research in Africa, what would you rank as the um, most important? The asset for Africa is not the resources. I always keep saying that the asset of Africa is not the oil. The asset of Africa is the young people. And if you look at the way uh, the output is going to be, there'll be over 11 million graduates landing on the market for jobs on the continent. And this is a massive, massive asset with which countries should be able to play with and of course earn dividends.